and welcome to our Montana Grizzlies Dynasty in NCAA Football 2007. We are taking over the MAC, or at least going to try to. As we look at our Season 1 schedule, we're going to be taking on Temple and Montana State here today, our rivals. We put them in the MAC as well. We took out Buffalo and Bowling Green in the MAC. And let's see, we got Temple, Montana State. Northern Illinois, Auburn. We're just going to keep this Season 1 schedule. Uh, we'll edit our schedule for Season 2. Marvin Joseph, Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's going on, brothers? What's happening? All right. I, I didn't look at the full schedule. My bad. All right, so we got Ball State, Miami University, Ohio, Boston College, Kent State, Akron, Wisconsin, Central Michigan to finish off this season. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at everything before we head into our first couple games of the Dynasty. We're going to take a look at the team. Let's take a little gander. I just auto-generated the rosters. I think the only player that's actually named is Adrian Peterson because... I mean, you gotta have AP. You gotta do it. But here's our schedule, or our roster, right here. Best players are right end Kevin Carroll. He is a redshirt junior. Take a look at the roster makeup. We have 12 freshmen, 19 sophomores. We have 14 juniors and 13 seniors. So uh, a decent amount for all of them, really. So not a whole lot of guys going to be leaving after this season. A lot of starters are, are going to be staying. We will lose our impact outside linebacker, Dennis Young. And a halfback here, but he's the backup halfback. So our team is not very talented. Quarterback with a 76 overall. Uh, nothing too crazy there. But he's able to scramble around a little bit with that 76 speed. Let's take a look at his throw power, throw accuracy, all that fun stuff. 84 and 80. Not too bad. Stamina and injury are a little rough. Hopefully, he can remain healthy for us. Running backs are decent, though. Jeff Lynch, 92 speed. Justin Walker, 90 speed. So I'm looking forward to seeing these guys tote the rock here in Montana. Fullback is a sophomore. We don't have to worry about him leaving. And uh, we do need to recruit some halfbacks, though. Two juniors and a senior. Wide receivers, we are set for a while. We get a redshirt senior as our number one guy. Not very fast. After him, we have five underclassmen, two sophomore, three freshmen. So we got a little bit of room to work with here. We will go after some speedier guys in recruiting, of course. Tight end, all three seniors. So, you know, uh, that's, that's pretty important. I do want our offense to feature the tight ends quite a bit more. If you guys watched the Mississippi State Dynasty, that final season, uh, we were able to get the tight end to number three in the Heisman voting. So I, I would like to try to replicate that here. I don't foresee us getting into the Heisman race uh, at all. But we're going to give it our best shot. O-line, we got a senior right tackle. After that, it's looking a little rough at tackle. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's not looking too good, boys. C minus rating for the tackle position and guard. It doesn't get any better. D plus rating. Now, offensive line is going to be our main focus in recruiting because we're not going to be able to compete with the bigger schools and you know potentially get a bid up into the Big Ten or I don't know any other bigger conference if we cannot block for our quarterback and our running backs. Center, he's a junior. Oh yeah, the guards, uh, let's see, one senior, junior, two sophomore, and a freshman. So, you know, we got some some guys that are going to stay for at least a couple seasons everywhere on the O-line, which isn't bad. Defensive end, we're going to have to recruit some guys or start recruiting some guys. We got two sophomore, but three juniors and a senior. We're going to be losing RJ Cohen, our left end, after this year. But hopefully we can keep Kevin Carroll as our right end for two seasons. That would be huge for the defense. Defensive tackle, Buck Buchanan. Really? What a name. That is beautiful. Hopefully he can perform like Buck Buchanan. Well, he's a redshirt senior, so we only get one year out of him. Then we got a junior, a sophomore, and two freshmen out here. The junior is actually the worst on the roster, but that's tough. 
Linebackers are decent, I guess. Uh, our top two guys are left outside linebackers. Dennis Young and Javon Johnson. We're going to... Can we switch him? Let's switch him to right outside linebacker. I guess we can't. Not during the season, at least. Chad Harris, Stafford Curry, and Matt Holloway. Those are the outside linebacker. Middle linebacker. It's, it's pretty rough, boys. <laughs> it is rough. Man. Corner. Couple seniors out here. Uh, Bobby Davis. Kevin Wade is a junior with 91 speed. Scott Moore, 80 speed. That's ugh, that's rough. We're gonna have Darius Bush, our redshirt sophomore, uh, in the nickel corner spot with that 92 speed. Fastest DB we got. Free safety, Eric Moore with the mullet. You love to see that. Jerome Brown's the backup. Dennis Green is third string. Strong safety. There we go. He's our fastest DB. Lance Miller, the junior. Strong safety. So, pretty good talent out there. And then we got Jonathan Papinga, the redshirt senior. Kicker, redshirt junior. Jamal Henry. What are your stats? Good, sir. 84-85. Not bad. Could be better. Punter, Brian McGrew, 70 overall. He's also a junior. And 86, that's all I care about. All right, so that's the roster, boys. We're going to be led by Brandon White under center. Jeff Lynch at running back. On defense, most names you're going to see is Kevin Carroll, Dennis Young, and probably Lance Miller, the strong safety. So those are the impact players for season number one. Make sure our depth chart is all good. Get some speed out there on returns. Pump turn. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep the backup running back in there as punt return. And Bob, why is Bobby Davis out here? What's going on? Put Peter Thornton out there. All right. So that is it for that. I do want to go into formation subs. We're going to get um, both running backs some carries here today. If the game just froze, I'll cry. All right, cool. All right, Lynch, Walker. I don't want to give him too many spots. I think that's good. Let's see, what do we got? I want to get all the speed out there that we can get. That's just Hail Mary anyway. That's good enough for me. Obviously, we will look around the country. That's uh, Braxton Miller on the cover of the ESPN the Magazine. Take a look at our coach. Strategy, playbook. Not sure what I really want to run, honestly. We'll just, uh, do we want to stick with pass heavy? I don't think so. General Ridley is our head coach, by the way. Named after my my English Bulldog that I had, who recently passed away. My um, Montana just doesn't have a playbook, of course. So, I don't want to run pass heavy, though. Let's go... Oh, man, what do we want to do? Balance pass... Defensive strategy, 3-3-5. Three, three, let's see, do I want to run 3-3-5? Three, three, I think so. Offensive strategy. Uh, we're going to keep it 50-50. And we'll go back to the... What you call it here in a second. Whoops. Report card. Now, I did name the other coach for Montana State. So we'll, we'll see him in our rivalry matchup. I turned Coach Firings off because I don't want our rival coach to get fired, <laughs> you know, after a couple bad seasons if they're unable to, you know, get a foothold here in the MAC. All right, let's go back to formation sub, see if that switched up the playbook at all. See what we got going here. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. We got some I formation. I like that. That's a lot better. 
your walker in there. Alright. Not bad. If I don't like that playbook, then we will uh, obviously switch it up. Team Discipline is a C so far. Pretty sure that's what it always is at the start. All right, let's look ahead at ESP and the magazine. We'll check out the top 25, all that fun, happy stuff. Game defaults all the FCS teams to 335 when you bring them into the dynasty. I kind of like that, honestly. I like the 335. Here's the preseason polls Ohio State at 1, Texas, Notre Dame, USC, LSU, Florida, Auburn, yada, yada, yada. Miami, Florida State. Georgia, Iowa, Tennessee, Arizona State, Nebraska, Virginia Tech, Texas Tech, Clemson, Alabama, and Georgia. Let's see if Alabama can, uh, you know, not suck in this dynasty. They went almost, I think they went three straight seasons without a win in the Bulldogs dynasty. All right, we're just going to go way down here. We're probably in the 70s, right? No? All the way at the bottom? Okay, we are literally starting from the bottom, boys. We are ranked dead last in the country, 119th. Going to be an uphill battle for us here in Montana. Three-star academic and a one-star football program for us. Heisman Watch. Brady Quinn. Adrian Peterson. Only guy with a name. What's up? Braxton Miller. I believe, right? Was that Braxton Miller? Troy Smith. My bad. Troy Smith. And Chris Leak. And what the heck was his name? That Brian Brown. There's just too many quarterbacks from from all these teams that I that just wear the same number and I can't remember them all. We see all Americans. Do we have all conference? Yes, we do. I don't think we're gonna have any guys. Of course, we haven't played a game yet, or we are. Rocky Lumpkin, our center. Okay, I like it. We got one All American. Second team. Anybody? All right, we got one All-American. Let's go, boys. Conference outlook. We should be dead last, of course. Montana State, 11th. We are 12th. That's, uh, that's big sad. Northern Illinois, uh, they've been pretty good. I'm pretty sure they were really good around this time. So, yeah. Toughest places to play. We'll probably never be on here. I think we only seat about 23,000. Gators with the number one. Yeah, we're, we're never going to get on here, sadly. <laughs> we need a lot more people to be able to fill in the stands. Oh, this is the... Is this the first year that they're out of the Orange Bowl? No. Is that 08 or 09? I can't remember. All right, let's go to in-season recruiting, boys. Get some recruits. Target the best prospects to fill your team needs. Okay, well, uh, we need halfback, wide receiver, tight end, middle linebacker, strong safety. All right. Well, whoops. We got anybody from Montana? Let's see what we got in state first before we go crazy. We got a four-star outside linebacker. That's actually beautiful. All right, we're going to go after Tracy Summers. See if we can't get the boy. Bring them on home. So that's one linebacker. We need a middle linebacker too, but we'll just go through the offense first, see what we can get. Colorado's a pipeline, so we'll go after him. Try to keep that pipeline open. Another one. I don't want to go too crazy with running backs, though. So we're probably not going to get all these guys. All right, let's target one receiver. California is a pipeline as well. 6'1", he's 6'2". Uh, what do I want here? All right, we're going to go with the 6'2 guy. And we've got to target two tight ends. Where's the pipeline? Nowhere. All right, we might just have to try to start up a new pipeline. I like this guy. 4'6", 40 out of Pennsylvania. Yes, sir. We'll go with that. 
And we're probably going to have to get somebody else in the offseason. Oh, wait, was the last game in the Orange Bowl? Yeah, I couldn't remember. I try to forget, you know. It's been sad times. <clears throat> All right, let's go O-line. Smithtown, New York. I just want to let you guys know I'm from New York. And uh, I've never heard of that place in my life. Who is General Ridley? That's my That was my English Bulldog, Tyler. That was his name, General Ridley. Pipeline? Okay. I want to try to just go after... Oh, Washington's a pipeline, too. This guy's 6'7". Yes, please. Go after a couple of these guys. All right, we only have four available scholarships now. Guard. I, we're probably not going to get any of these guys, but, you know... I really just want to go after O-line. Because we desperately need him. Alright, no center, sadly. Uh, middle linebacker, strong safety. That guy runs a 4-4-8. Oh my word. Kentucky. Alright, let's go after a Michigan guy. We could probably go after another middle linebacker, honestly. for the other guy too from Kentucky. Alright, that is it, I believe. Yes. Yes, it is. Do we want to practice and look at our playbook? Now nah, we want to get into the action. Temple and Montana. Week one of season one. There's the matchup. They have a C overall. We have a D+. Plus. And it looks like their defense is pretty good. Hopefully, uh, we don't get throttled here today. Bam, bam, bam. All right, we're going to roll the 3-3-5 three, three, and, and just see how it fits. There's the uniform. What do they got for unis? They just got the all whites. Okay. Let's get it, boys. They are ranked 117, so, I mean, they're. <laughs> they're pretty bad, just like us. Eighty-seven overall corner. Their halfback's got an eighty-six overall. Tackle with an eighty-five. Obviously not televised. I do have to turn off that PA announcer because he's going to drive me insane. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. We should practice first? Nah. No need to practice. I was thinking about it. But we don't need it. Alright, uh, what are we doing here? Alright, I think that's all we need. Oh, also, uh, we're playing on Heisman. I'll show you guys the sliders real quick. Now, I don't know if, how these sliders are going to be. But here's the sliders for a human. We got 50, 90, 50, 50, 70 on offense. Defense, 80, 50, 10, 50, 50. Special teams, 55, 50, 55, 50, 55. And then for computer offense... 30, 60, 40, 40, and 45. Defense, 30, 40, 10, 0, and 30. Now, the break block at 0 is because the jump snap in this game is just insane. It's ridiculous. Special teams, 40, 40, and then 50s to finish that off. And that's it, boys. Let's see how it goes. Let's check it out. It's a work in progress. I, I don't know. We might tinker with it a little bit throughout the season, but we'll see. All right. I 
don't know how this defense is going to be. We might we might switch out of the 3-3-5. I have no idea. But we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to use Buck Buchanan. Yeah, D-tackle. Stadium's going crazy right now. Zero decibels. Love that. been a while since we've had three series going all at once on the channel. Nice tackle. We got the Arena Football League series going. We've got NFL 2K5 going on the channel. This one now. And I'll be bringing a fourth one in the near future as well. So strap yourselves in for a lot of content, boys. Oh, he caught that. Dang it. Fenton up to midfield. First down out. I don't know why you're upset with him. He caught the ball, sir. Get it together, brother. Nice hit. Been a long time since I brought back the PS2 games. Well, I, you know, it was hard to stream without a computer. That's why I was playing RPGs. Just trying to get some content out there for you guys. Well, that's no good. Richardson all the way down to the 21-yard line. Come on, Grizz. Let's go, boys. Uh, expectations for this season I'm gonna I'm gonna say four or five wins you know I would be elated if we got four <laughs> it's gonna be really tough for us not a very good roster we're dead last in the nation so obviously we will try our damnedest every week to build this program into a powerhouse. I believe we can do it. Let's go defense. Come on, boys. Nice. Buck Buchanan with the tackle for a loss. Let's go. You think six wins, Tyler? Ooh, man, we get six wins. That's bowl eligible. That would be really nice. I don't know if we could do it, but we're going to try. And there's a touchdown for Temple, just like that. Marching on down the field. They got all the momentum in that momentum meter. Also, guys, I figured out how to, you know, counteract the stupid return camera in this game. I'll show you here in a moment. That was a great drive, man. We just could not stop him at all. Had no answer for it. All right, you ready for this? Are you ready? Look at that. Ready? You ready for it? Boom. Beautiful. That saves this game for me because I hate that return camera with an absolute passion. All right, offense. I want the fullback out here. I want to run the ball. All right, we're going to switch this up to the right side. Halfback slam with Lynch to start things off. And we'll pick up three or four. I like it. Let's go. thing I like about having this quarterback, Brandon White, 
You know, he, he's not the fastest, but he gives us the option to run the option, which is so nice. And he gets about five yards up the middle. All right, we're going to go back to our boy, Mr. Lynch. Jump, man, we got the first down. Let's go. We're cooking. We are cooking, boys. Keep on keeping on. You know what I'm saying. Oh, I tried to cut that through the hole right there between the tackle and guard. Just couldn't quite get it. Should we go, we'll go single back. See if we can't get a dive going here. I don't like that. Quick pass maybe. And he didn't throw it, all right. That is one thing about this game that will probably frustrate me will be the amount of the amount of times I get sacked. And you saw the break block for the computer. I think I put it on zero. So Here we go. Here we go. We got him open. Let's go, Sharp. Let's go, baby. First down, Grizzlies. That was a nice catch by the tight end. I think that was a tight end. It's going to take me a minute to uh, remember everybody's names and positions out here. That appears to be a receiver that caught that rather than the tight end. Fenner is the tight end. Oh, could not break it to the outside. Alright, what are we doing here? Let's go ex post. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> Holy smokes, man. Third down and ten for Montana. I'm going to try to hit Smith over the middle. I hit the wrong button, but we completed to Fenner. And we're going to go for it. Beat. Aggressive. B, B, aggressive. Let's go. Oh, fullback dive? Let's see what the big fellas got. My fullback. What's your name? Booker? Let's go, brother. Go, Booker! Let's go, baby! All the way down to the 16 yard line. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling on his first career carry. Move them chains. Wow, that was completely unexpected. Imagine if we had speed at that position. Blanco. With the tackle. Alright, what are we doing here? Uh, first and ten from the 16. We got a nice little drive going. Hand this off to Lynch. And Lynch going to fight forward, picking up four yards. Not too shabby. All right, let's see. I'm I'm afraid to go play action with the offensive line and how uh, how do I say this? How how not talented they are. Uh oh, I got hit. Oh, and we get the tip drill touchdown. Let's go. Beautiful touchdown to start the dynasty off. Let's go. Just how we drew it up, boys. That right, should have been a pick, but we're just going to keep on moving. That was glorious. I 
Extra point is up, and it is good. We're all tied up, seven apiece. That was a 12th place, 78-yard drive. We took three minutes and 46 seconds to get in that end zone. And boy, was it beautiful. Go, boys. Come on. Back out on defense. Now, if we do win this game, I mean, it wouldn't be too surprising since Temple's ranked 117th and we are 119th, but... It would be real nice to win it. Get it, boys. Come on now. Fenton up to the 45-yard line. First down for the Owls. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to play, uh, the play calling on defense in this game. In 03, I mean, I, I really only picked between like six to seven or eight plays. Oh, he's wide open. One-handed snag by Wagner down inside the red zone. McNeil, 7 of 8, 124 yards and a touchdown. Final play of the first quarter. They will snap it. And Richardson picks up four. And we are all tied up at seven as we head into the second quarter. Now we get to start our conference play in the MAC against our arch rivals, Montana State, next. That's going to be a lot of fun. What a great way for both of us to start conference play. All right, they're down to one. This could be a big stop for this defense. Let's go, D. Oh, man, I just got pushed so far back. Oof. Man. Richardson, seven yard or seven carries, 20 yards. First and goal for the Owls at the two-and-a-half-yard line. Not having much success with the D-line here. And the quarterback is going to waltz in for the score. Owls take the lead back. And that was too easy. Now, the only time I'm using jump snap is on field goal blocks, really. I think it's a pretty cheap way to... Oh, we nearly blocked that. Holy smokes. I think jump snap's a pretty cheap way to, you know, make plays. Just rather go at it a normal way. Boom. Let's go, Walker. Good return up past the 30 to the 31-yard line. See if we can have another nice drive. Almost four minutes off the clock on our touchdown drive. It was beautiful. And Lynch going nowhere on first down. Just 11 yards on six carries. It's going to be tough sledding. Trying to move the ball with... The offensive line that we have, not great at pass blocking, not great at run blocking. Uh-oh. Run, Brandon! We'll just dive at the 38-yard line. And 
And yeah, third down and three. Oh, he's open. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he caught it! Another catch off a deflection for Smith. And he is gone! Touchdown, Montana! Both scores are from deflected passes. Wow. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, I guess. The crowd's loving it, though. What a block right there as well. Hey, what up, Triple J? Why did we put ourselves in the MAC as Montana? Wouldn't the WAC or Midwest Conference work better? I just felt like going with the MAC, man. I mean, I, I let the I let subscribers pick what conference we were going to be using, and then I let everybody pick the team as well. Montana was just the FCS choice that I threw in there. Also, the MAC has a conference championship game, so there's also that. 14 all here in the second. Get it, boys. Oh, Beckford got ran over, but <laughs> still made the tackle. Come on, Buchanan. Let's try to get past the center. He's been manhandling us all game. Oh, we nearly got by him. Come on, Conception. Fumble. Oh, we got it. We're going to take away. Let's go, boys. Miller on the recovery. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people didn't know about uh, the vote for what team we were going to use. There's only like 55 votes on it out of 1,400 plus subscribers. It's kind of crazy. All right, offense, we got a chance here to take the lead. Oh my goodness, a stiff arm. Lynch picking up 10. Trying to go beast mode. He's not quite there yet. But it was still a nice run. Alright, what are we doing here? Let's let's get the fullback in motion. See if he can't block a linebacker. And oh my goodness, Lynch nearly broke two tackles there. All right, third down and one. Really don't want to kick a field goal, so let's get this first down, shall we? I'm going fullback. First carry was a big one. See if he can replicate that. And he cannot. Left guard got blown up. So we're going to go with a field goal try. A little bit of jawing going on on the field. I can't remember our kicker's name. What's your name? Henry? Okay, I can remember that. Oh, King Henry. The field goal for the lead is up and good. Montana on top, boys. 17-14. Get him. Uh-oh, that's not good. I definitely got clipped on the left side, but they didn't call it. Out here making plays, we got more yards of offense than them. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought he was going to break that to the outside. And he's pretty quick, so I got, I got a little nervous. Oh my goodness, he's so fast. If he can get to the outside, I mean, it's just going to be a touchdown. He's going to be off to the races. 
Montana, the only FCS school with their mascot in the game. Yes, sir. They didn't get the fight songs right. Yeah, they didn't really put a lot of effort into the FCS schools, unfortunately. But at least Montana's got a unique stadium, which is really nice. Man, Brandon White, four for four, two tutties? Let's go. I mean, granted, they were lucky touchdowns, but we'll take them. Only one sack in the game so far. And McNeil trying to take off. Only a one-yard pickup. It's third down and nine coming up. Let's go three deep switch. Got to get pressure on him. Come on, boys. Let's go. The pick. I don't know who it was, but it's up to the 48-yard line. Let's go. Two takeaways for the boys. That was a switch on user pick. I'll take it. I got nervous. Didn't want the computer to drop it. I have the interception slider set to 10, I believe, for both human and computer. So we're not going to see a crazy amount of picks. I, I Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. Lynch is in the zone at running back. See what he can do. Uh, break one tackle. Too bad there's three other defenders waiting in the wings to stop him. Less than three to go in the first half. What are we doing here? Smith, maybe? All right, we'll just go to Fenner. He's wide open. Tight end with his second catch of the game. And Brandon White has started his career 5 of 5 throwing the football. Here we go. Good run. Kind of bounced off my own lineman. But Lynch picking up 8 yards. Let's try a toss play. This could go terribly wrong. I don't know how the toss plays work in this game. So We're going to switch it. Go left, which is a really nice feature in this game. I love it. And not a lot of blocking. Loss of one. And let's see. Third down and three. Let's go slot ice. It's then Portland State, South Carolina State, and you believe Yale. Yeah, I can't remember all the teams that have the unique stadiums. Oh, White is sacked again. Dang it. Second sack of the half for the Owls. And I don't think we can make a 55-yard field goal with this kicker. I don't think I even want to try it, to be honest with you. Yeah, they want us to go for it, so I'm going to, but we're going to run Ace Arrow. Go out route with Smith. He's wide open. And he fumbles it. All right, so we convert <laughs> we convert the fourth down, but we give it right up to him. Smith, two catches, 77 yards, and a touchdown. And a fumble, sadly. Uh-oh. That's a good run. Richardson getting hot in the backfield for the Owls. Yep, the little dome stadiums. Yep. Basically the basketball arenas. Alright, boys. Let's not let them drive down the field before the half. Let's 
figure this out. Six seconds left in the second quarter. Oh no, he's open. And he overthrew him. We got lucky there. Mills should have had a touchdown. Let's go nickel defense, cover three. got absolutely flattened by the right guard. Oh my goodness. I'm not used to playing defensive linemen, so so bear with me, folks. I usually play safety, but I want to switch it up every series we do, so. Get him! Get him! Oh, come on now. They're just about in field goal range. That's third and nine. They got that way too easily. Swanson is going to score for Temple. We had a linebacker in the vicinity. Just a little too far up. Couldn't make the play. So close. Man, he nearly had that. Your point is good. It's 21 17 Temple on top. And we got we got 14 seconds left. I also just don't want to force anything downfield. That that fumble was a really, really big turnover from us. And I'm really disappointed in Smith. We're winning time of possession. Let's just run the ball. Spent a lot of time in 09. That's why you remember some of this stuff. Yeah, I have a spreadsheet with all the stadiums and stuff on there, too. From when I did 06. Oh, my goodness. From when I did the uh, FCS Dynasty. All right, we're going to be down 21-17 to 17 at home against Temple in the Dynasty opener. We get the ball to start the second half. Let's see if we can hold on to the football this next drive out. It's really unfortunate. I mean, we were driving. We should have scored right there. You know, it's really just tough. And Walker up to about, what, 24? 24 yard line. Two turnovers for Temple, one for the Grizz. And Lynch fighting forward, getting about three yards. Just 29 yards for him. Hasn't been able to break one just yet. Let's go power option left. Let's see if we have man coverage. We do have man coverage. Run! Run, Lynch! Oh my goodness. Let's go, baby! Takes four defenders to get him out of bounds. Big time run for the running back. We barely got that pitch off. Man. That is a nice fight song. Are you sure that's not Montana's fight song? I actually don't know what it is. That's not too bad, though. That's definitely unique. And White! Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta definitely slide. Gotta be careful in this game. <laughs> that should have been a fumble. That was a huge hit on the quarterback.
And Lynch moving the chains. Let's go. We got something with this ground attack. We really do. If the old line was better, man, we'd be cruising right now. And Lynch stopped behind the line. Not a whole lot of blocking on that one. Okay, what do we got here? Second down and 10. Let's go Razor Indy. I don't like this. Oh, he's open. Richardson inside the 15-yard line. Let's go, boys. Some of the HBCUs have their fight songs. Nice. I did know that. I think uh, Bethune and Florida A&M, I believe. I could be wrong on one of those. See, if I was still doing the, the FCS Dynasty, I would, I would remember all of that because I had all that information all on spreadsheets written down and everything oh my goodness oh Lynch just got his head taken off by the defensive tackle my right guard got pancake that's that's not what you want to see second down and 11 for Montana I don't like this. I don't like it. Yeah, we're just gonna run out of bounds, avoid the hit. Third down and 14 now. Ooh, let's try to hit a corner route to the tight end. They're not very good. He's not a very good tight end, but he's got a couple catches in this one. Do a slant corner on the left. Oh man. Okay, field goal try, <laughs> man. Thought the running back was gonna at least bump him, but he didn't do anything. Field goal will make it a one point ball game. It's a 42 yard try for the junior. King Henry. Kick is up, and the kick is good. We're down one point. Where's my mascot? I want to see my mascot. Nice tackle, Mott. Let's go. Pretty good game, this one. I like it. It's going to be a hard-fought win for whoever gets the dub. Oh, I missed. Buchanan is so slow. Both running backs with 58 yards rushing. Richardson, slightly better average, two less carries. Third down and four. This is a big play for us. Big, big play. Get up some momentum if we can get the stop. Get him. Let's go, boys. We got the sack. Number 96. I don't know who it was. Again, it's, it's going to take a minute to get names memorized and whatnot.
Probably just gonna fair catch this. Not sure how well the uh, return camera trick will work on a punt return. Especially if the coverage is really close to him. Yeah, fair catch. All right, back to the ground attack. Little halfback slam for the boys. Here we go. Good run. Oh, Lynch is gone. Touchdown, Montana. Let's go. Just like that, boys. That's how it's done. Lynch over 100 yards rushing now. There's a flag for a celebration, but I don't care. Well earned. Safety. That was a piss poor tackle attempt. My goodness. Regear Productions. What's going on, man? You must be good luck, Regear. As soon as I saw your name in the chat, we broke a 60 yard touchdown run. Why am I going for two? What just happened? I didn't want to go for two, but I guess we're doing it from the 18. Quick strike, and it's picked off. <laughs> oh, man. That's okay. I thought that, you know, doing ask the coach was going to go for the extra point, but uh, that's what I get for not paying attention fully. Oh, Thornton, you're quick, man. You got crushed, though. Oof. Really just wanted to kick that extra point. That's tough. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Watching some conference basketball tournaments. Nice. I like it. Buchanan. Holy smokes. I didn't make the tackle, but I made the play right there. I'm definitely going to be picking up a college basketball game for the PS2. 100%. Oh, he's open. Uh-oh. Nice. Oh, what a hit by 17 to jar the ball loose. Who are you, 17? Miller. Yes, sir. That's my dog. Second down and 10 now. Okay, Buchanan. Come on, brother. Let's go. He threw right to him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Conception. Wow. The pick, the stiff arm. Holy Toledo, boys. Oh, that was nasty. That was a star running back that just got planted on his backside with a vicious stiff arm. Quarterback got hit as he threw it, resulting in the bad pass. Let's go, boys. That's three takeaways now for the defense, I believe. Another nice run for Lynch. Picks up seven. He's got 126 yards now. Half of that on one carry. Oh, wide open field over here. Gonna slide down, avoid the contact. I want to see how counters do in this game. Haven't run a counter yet. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Walker. Oh, he just speeds right by the DB. Touchdown, Montana. Let's go, fellas. 
We got all the momentum now. Had some great blocking on that play. Biggest lead of the night. That's one thing we do have is speed at halfback. I think our starter speed is 90. The backup who just scored has a 92 speed, I believe. So if we can get them into that second level, man, look out. It's just a matter of actually getting them there. Uh-oh. Don't like to see that. All right. Back to defense. Forcing some bad plays out here from this quarterback. Come on, crowd, go crazy. Three decibels. Six. Let's go. Uh-oh. That's not good. He's gone. He's so fast. Touchdown Temple. Just like that, they respond in a big way. That's what I was saying earlier in the game, you know, if we let him get to the outside, we're not going to catch him. All the running backs putting on a show now. Extra point is up, and it is good for the Owls. It's 33-28 now. few big touchdown runs. Yeah, we definitely have to keep that running back uh, between the hash marks, that's for sure. We've been doing a decent job of it so far in the game. But that one, he just uh, bounced it. You know, we, we just couldn't do anything against it. Let's go halfback tackle on this one. Just over a minute to play in the third quarter. Man, Lynch. Another nice run off the right side. Picks up six yards. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the fresh new dynasty so far. I know I am. This has been quite fun. I'm enjoying myself. And Walker cannot move the chains. Third and short coming up. Third and one. All right, we are three for seven on third down. I would like to fix that. Lynch is in the zone. And three defenders get in the backfield and stop him before he can get started. What college basketball game am I going to get? I'm not quite sure yet. When was the uh, last March Madness game? What, what year was that? All right, we're going to let this go to the fourth quarter. So the Montana Grizzlies... In our season opener, in our dynasty opener, are on top 33-28 to over the Temple Owls. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. See if we can hang out for this dub. It's going to be an exciting finish. Let's go. Oh, I don't like this. Don't like it. Nice hit. Holy my my goodness. I just I want to say all these words that I just can't say on stream. That hit was vicious. Get him, boys. Get him. Oh, I whiffed. I whiffed big time. Buchanan is so slow. Last college basketball game was 2010. Well, oh, I know that. I have that one, but I'm talking about on the PS2. When was the 
of the last March Madness on there on the PS2. Oh my goodness. I'm getting manhandled, but I make the tackle. Let's go. Yeah, I've got 2010. It's the one with uh, Blake Griffin on the cover, but I'm not playing that on the channel. Probably not. Oh my goodness. I thought for sure that was a pick. Then he almost caught it. It's a roller coaster of emotions right now. Let's go defense. Second down and 10 for the Owls. Buchanan with a nice stop. Let's go. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna go three three five stack. Three deep switch. That's what we're all about. Oh, backup full or backup D tackles in there, and that is caught by Mills. Just out here mossing everybody. Wait, with KD on the cover. Now, is that on the PS3 or is that PS2? Or is it both? I wasn't a huge basketball fan when I was younger, so I didn't really play those games a whole lot. Nice play. Both the running backs showing out. I think I had 05. That's the one with the Stanford player on it, right? He's got the awesome afro. I think that's the, that might be the only PS2 college basketball game that I owned was was 05. That was a lot of fun. So I think they had the demo of it in one of the football games, I believe. And I played the heck out of it and got the game. Get him. Oh, he's wide open. Oh, what a hit by the safety. Okay, he ran into a brick wall. That's tackle number eight. For Miller. Let's go defense. Oh, the running back is in the zone. That's no good. You hate to see that. He's gone. Oh, what a tackle. No way. In the zone, and he gets tripped up by the defensive back. That is a huge play for us. Gotta get that stadium pulse to six, baby. Let's go. We just don't got fans like that yet. Another nice tackle. Swanson dropped at the seven and a half yard line, eight yard line. Let's go strong safety, double spy on third and goal. Got to get pressure on him. We got to get pressure. They're going to run it, and he is going to go nowhere. Huge stand by the defense. And they are going to kick the field goal to make it a two-point ball game. And I don't know about you guys, but I hate this camera. I hate it. I don't know why it's in the game. But Field goal nearly blocked. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a game-changing play. Look at how close he is. Woo. I got to see how close he actually was on that. I know block kicks aren't as rare in this game, obviously. It's through his face, guys. We blocked that. Come on. It's it's through his noggin. We've got robbed. We have been robbed. All right. Set to return it. He is Thornton. He's pretty quick. We got a missed tackle. Thornton breaking a tackle and gets up to the 45 yard line. Let's go. You love to see it. All right. Now.
Let's go with another counter. We scored on one the last time out. The last time we tried a counter, rather. It was not with Lynch, though. It was with the backup running back. They're going zone defense. And we get no blocking from 74. You're fired. Get off the field. My left guard just decides to not even try to block. Loss of two on the play. Touchdown wins the game, you think so? I don't know, man. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the blocking. Brandon White down to the 30-yard line. Big time run by the quarterback on the power option. Turned that corner, saw all that green grass in front of me, and I just kept on moving. Let's go, fellas. want to do here let's switch this to the right and Lynch only gets a yard get some fresh legs out there let's go counter oh this could be good fellas Walker to the outside get a block get a block please he's got the outside Walker stiff arms the defender. He's still going down to the five yard line first and go Grizz. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Beautiful. All right, he's tired now. We'll get the starter back in there. Let's go fullback fake and toss it out. Oklahoma used to do that a lot with Adrian Peterson, and man, was it beautiful. They got man coverage here. No, they're going zone coverage. Oh, man, that might have worked if it wasn't in, you know, against goal line defense. TV keeps turning off on me like mid-play. <laughs> What's happening? Just like black screen out of nowhere. And Lynch is in. Touchdown, Montana. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Please, TV, stop it. Stop turning off. I do not approve of this. Extra point will make it a nine-point ball game with 141 remaining. Forty to thirty-one. There's the mascot. Let's go, boys. Let's go. GG's. Hey, there's still time left, man. They got timeouts. Nice tackle, Mott. Let's go, boys. Beautiful. And clipping. That's what I'm talking about. Stick around after this game, fellas. We're going to be taking on Montana State in game number two of our Montana Dynasty. I can knock it off the center. Nice play by the linebacker, knocking the ball away from the receiver. Get him. Nice catch and run by Fenton. Gonna move the chains for Temple. Get away from this guy. Uh oh. Man, that is an overthrow. My goodness. He put everything he had into that throw. 
All right, I gotta call a timeout. My defense is gassed right now. Get him. Uh-oh. And that's caught by Love. Man, the DB was in the right spot. He just backpedaled uh, just a couple yards too far. Man, that's unfortunate. McNeil, 298 yards passing, two touchdowns, two picks in the ballgame. Man, that pass is going to be dropped as a flag for offside, so we didn't get back in time. That was Papinga. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go up against this right guard, see what I can do against this guy. Uh, nothing, all right. That pass is deflected away. McNeil with a risky throw. The Grizz trying desperately to hang on to this nine-point lead. He's wide open. Nice tackle on Mills. That was a flag for holding. We will accept that. Thank you very much, Mr. Harrison. call a timeout which is good because my guys were exhausted our defensive end is in the zone and that should have been an illegal throw they're not going to call it he was definitely past the line of scrimmage that is unacceptable Third down and nine for Temple. Come on, Buchanan, get there. Let's go, baby. User sack. Fourth tackle of the ball game for Buck Buchanan. And no, I did not edit his name. That was auto-generated, and it's beautiful. Fourth down and 15 to go. Temple with their backs up against the wall. They're throwing it deep to the end zone, and it's deflected up in the air, incomplete. And Montana will take over on downs. Not in our house, baby. Get him out of here. All right, they got one timeout left. We're just going to kneel it down. We're not going to let anything crazy happen, and we are going to secure the dub. And then go take on our rivals, Montana State. Let's go. Obviously, they uh, called their final time out there. Just to make me lose another three yards on a kneel down. Let's go, boys. We are undefeated. That's right, get some GG's in the chat. One more kneel down from White. And that'll do it. It wasn't a televised game, but looks like a sold out crowd here in Montana. 40 to 31 is the final. Montana 1 0, Temple 0 and 1. Historic victory for us here. I'm sure we'll move up two spots in the rankings. Temple was ranked 117th coming into this game. We were ranked 119th. We're moving up in the world, boys. You'd love to see it. Let's take a look at the stats real quick, then we'll get into our week two game against the Bobcats. 
Or were they still the fighting bobcats? I can't remember when they changed that. They don't really say that anymore. Not that I noticed. All right, Temple did outgain us on offense by 50 yards, but we had 237 on the ground. Both of our running backs were killing it. Our, our quarterback, Brandon White, was 7 of 7 with two touchdowns, 156 yards, and he had a pretty big run on the option. Yeah, we're just going to flip-flop. Like, we'll probably be 117th now. They'll be 119th. <laughs> we'll flip-flop. That's fine. I'm okay with that. We had three takeaways. That was the biggest difference in this game. And we actually should have won by a little bit more if Smith did not fumble on the out route where he caught it on fourth and, I think it was fourth and nine. Caught it, was wide open, and they stripped him. And we put up 23 in the second half to their 10. Able to pull away just enough with a nine point victory. Head coach, General Ridley, gets his first dub. Look at this, Brandon White, 7 of 7. I didn't realize that I hadn't thrown an incomplete pass with him all game. Both touchdowns were off of tip drill catches. They were insane. Some really awesome highlights for us in this game to start off the dynasty. Jeff Lynch, 134 yards, two touchdowns. Justin Walker, the redshirt senior, 53 yards and a score as well. Long 25. Lynch had a long 60. White had a 27-yarder. The fullback, Jason Booker, with a 24-yarder. Guys were going crazy. Lynch broke six tackles. Lamont Smith, the sophomore, two for 77 yards and a touchdown. Benner had two catches for 24 yards. And Derek Wilson, the other sophomore, had the other tip drill touchdown catch. Rocky Lumpkin, our center, had two pancakes, and our left guard allowed two sacks. That is, uh, that's not okay. What's the goal this season to win six games? Uh, the goal, uh, my expectations is four or five wins. If we can somehow get to six wins, I mean, that would be really awesome. Um, I don't want to give ourselves too big of a goal, though, because we are starting from the bottom, all right? the dead last team in the country. Buck Buchanan with a sack, and R.J. Cohen. Left end got a sack as well. Interceptions by Kevin Wade and Micah Concepcion. Three deflections, no forced fumbles. We had a recovered fumble by Miller. And Jamal Henry, two for two field goals, long 42. 1.43 yards for Brian McGrew. 44 yard kick return for Peter Thornton. And no punt returns. All right, let's go simulate the rest of the week. We'll take a look at the ESP in the magazine. See what's happening around the nation. Want to be a little bit more in depth with this dynasty. Um, you know, I I try to like I usually I've been like just playing the games and and just like getting through them. I want to. I don't know, be a little bit more active inside the actual dynasty this go-around. For you guys, might be a little bit more enjoyable to see everything else going on around the country. I know for me, it was just playing games, really. Especially for, you know, Mississippi State. Let's go, Miami! 24-10 over Florida State in Week 1. That's kind of crazy for them to play Week 1, but I like it. Man, Louisville shuts out Kentucky. That's tough. But, yeah, I want to show you guys stuff around the league and or around the country, stats, all that fun stuff. Brawl of the Wild in Bozeman, Montana, here in Week 2. Montana State is 0-1. Here's the matchup, and then I'll go and we'll look and see who they lost to to start the season off. <coughs> but they only scored 7 points. That's, uh, that's a little rough, guys. <laughs> that's a little rough. I'm really happy with our rush offense. It's 21st in the country, and turnover differential is 18th. So really, really nice stuff. Washington State upset Auburn. Wow. Yeah, we can look at this, uh, the schedule as well if you guys want to do this. After every game, we'll go back through and, and look at the results around the country. Let me know in the comments after this live stream's over or in the chat right now if, if you would enjoy seeing all that more in depth and everything we have Boston College on our schedule as well Fresno State beats Nevada 
<coughs> Excuse me, Syracuse beats Wake Forest. TCU beats Baylor. Any interesting games here? Nothing so far. I remember I, I put Bowling Green and Buffalo in the FCS, so. Bowling Green almost upsets Colorado. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so Wisconsin, we also have them on our schedule uh, towards the end of the year, I believe. Wisconsin beats them 52-7. to seven. That's tough. Let's see what the stats are. So Bennett's for Montana State receiver. They had 67 yards and a touchdown. Uh, but they allowed five touchdown passes <laughs> from Wisconsin, which is kind of crazy. Houston beats Rice. Okay. Memphis. Memphis upsets Ole Miss. Okay. That's interesting. Wow. And Adrian Peterson and the boys uh, just crush UAB. Ohio State beats Northern Illinois. No surprise there. Michigan beats Vandy 63-7. Oh, man. Just looking for any kind of upsets here. Wow, Stanford. 42 nothing, guys? Come on, man. At least try, you know? It, just show up. Missouri beats Murray State 73 to 10. Those poor guys. Poor racers. Just a lot of FCS schools getting pummeled, man. Clemson pummels Florida Atlantic as well. Yep, Washington State, you were right. They upset Auburn. Wow, 20 to 17. There's no way they should have won that game. There's just no way. That's insane. USC beats Arkansas. Rutgers took North Carolina to overtime. Louisiana Tech only lost to Nebraska by a touchdown. Third Beach, Georgia Tech. Yada, yada, yada. Alabama, they won a game. It's crazy. Arizona beats BYU. There's a shutout there. And Miami beating Florida State. Mm, isn't it sweet? Auburn was ranked seventh. Yeah, they, they really were. They were. All right, ESPN, the magazine. They got Washington State on the cover. Whoops. Beating Auburn. Man, that's tough. In week two, Auburn has a player just laying down on the cover. That's, that's real tough. See if, what the movement is. Auburn obviously drops to 16. Florida State drops. And Oregon jumps up into the rankings after that 42 nothing shutout over Stanford. Heisman watch. There's probably not going to be any movement here. Actually, there is. Wow. Outlaw, the receiver for Oklahoma, gets on there. What did Peterson do? 109 yards. Nothing too crazy for him. Players of the week. Okay, running back, 130 yards receiving. That's crazy. ACC, 195 yards, four touchdowns for the running back out of Maryland. Two picks and a touchdown for Bill Wilson, Ohio State, strong safety. And Martin Parr, quarterback for... Iowa, six touchdowns. Man, they could use him in real life right now because that offense is bad. Iowa State going bananas. 413 yards, five touchdown passes, 76 rushing yards as well for the quarterback. Crazy. Running back for Connecticut, four touchdowns, 191 yards. Man, nothing too crazy there. Independence, three touchdown catches for... Receiver for Notre Dame. The Mac, we don't get on there at all. Running back from Ohio, he's pretty good. Four hundred and sixty six yards passing from USC. I can't remember who that is with uh, only two touchdowns though. But they won forty one to twenty against Arkansas. So that's kind of crazy to do that against an SEC defense. Ten tackles for Nick Adams for UCLA. 
Cooper lost, sack, pick, force fumble, going crazy. Three sacks for FIU middle linebacker. Six tackles for loss, and a pick and a force fumble, eight tackles. Jeez, and they lost the game. Leon Blankenship goes crazy for San Jose State. 11 catches, 205 yards, three touchdowns, and that is it for Players of the Week. There's no movement for us in conference standings. Let's see what we got here. Undefeated, baby. 1-0. Let's go. Now build on that success. Well, we sure is going to try. I'll tell you what. All right, here we go, boys. There's the matchup. Again, we just saw that, but we're going to get into the game. Montana at Montana State. Bozeman. Brawl of the Wild. Let's get it. Uh-oh, that's not what we want to see. Oh, no. What happened? Missoula Paper has reported that Miller is involved in an identity scandal where other students were taking exams under his name. He's our best defensive back. Yeah, we, we got to suspend him. Man, we're going to give him five games. So the first half of the season, he's going to be out now. That is so unfortunate, fellas. But we got to keep that NCAA team interest down. We do not want to get hampered in recruiting one bit. Oh, speaking of recruiting, I, I almost forgot, guys. Hey, Alex, what's up? We're in the Mac, buddy. We are in the Mac. All right, we're going to give this guy some points because we got a little bit of a lead there. We'll go 15 to start. 15 to start on him. 15. 15. And, okay, so we got 40 points left. Okay, we're not going to get that guy. No shot. What about a running back? Uh, no, that's a big lead for Oklahoma. Tight end. Nope. Middle linebacker. Not even close. Okay. What about this guy? Nope. Okay. Right guard. No chance. No chance for him either. What about the halfback? Nope. Okay, so we're just going to sink all of our points into these four guys. And hope for the best, boys. We're going after right tackle, left tackle, right guard. And a wide receiver, okay? I think that's pretty decent, honestly. I want to go after offensive line, so it'd be huge if we can get three of them in the in-season recruiting. We're also in the lead for this receiver, Keith Lindsey, out of Danville, California. Runs a 4 3 5 40. Let's take a look at these fellas. We're in the lead. We're going up against USC and Cal. So Dennis Campbell, six foot two guard. Six foot nine tackle, Jonathan Cobbs. Out of East Los Angeles, California. We are in the lead. Okay, so we're about, we're about to get some big boys here. I'm telling you, man. Montana having to travel all the way to Ohio for road games. That's eh, not too bad. Who else came to the MAC with the Grizz? Montana State, buddy. Brought our rivals along with us. And Sam Daniels, the right tackle. He's 6'5", 324. He's a big boy, too. Uh, we're going up against New Mexico State, USC, and UNLV for this fella. We need all these linemen. We really do. All right. Yeah, we already did that. All right, that's fine. Five games for him. That really, really stinks. But. All right, fellas. Brawl the Wild. Let's go. Yeah, if we can get all those old linemen, man, that would be massive for us. Hey, we actually dropped or jumped up 12 spots. So two weeks in a row, we're facing the 117th ranked squad. Uh, we just beat Temple by nine points, 40 to 31. Let's see how we fare uh, traveling to Montana State, our fierce rivals. Not televised, sadly, but we are going to fight for those televised games, fellas. I'm telling you, it's going to be a while, but. Alright, we are set to return. And 
I'm going to do my handy dandy trick right here. And we are underway. Let's go. Walker with a decent return right up the middle. And we're going to start off trying to pound the rock. Montana State moved up. I moved him up. <laughs> yeah, I took Buffalo and Bowling Green out of the MAC. They're now in the FCS. I wanted Montana State to be up there with us. Decent run to start things off. Is Missoula the biggest town in Montana? I think it's Helena. with another nice carry. I could be wrong on that. I'm not like a city expert or anything, but... Oh, nice tackle by the linebacker. Hey, what's going on, Austy? Welcome to the chat, man. There's one game that had Montana Stadium in the game. Well, I mean, they do have a different stadium in these games on the PS2, but... Oh, nice carry by Lynch. Literally just dragging a defender. I just don't think it's the actual uh, Montana Stadium, though, sadly. Billings is the largest. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, Montana State's rank moved up? Oh, that's... No, they actually moved down. They they were not... Oh, my goodness. Nice run again. Montana State wasn't ranked 118th and ahead of us. They were, like, in the 90s, I think. I'll have to go back through and, and watch... Uh, after the live stream's over to see where they were in the preseason polls. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they were 118. Or maybe I'm just tripping. Oh, nice run. Here we go. Lynch, another first down carry. FCS schools are generic. Well, not all of them. I mean, there's, there's a handful of them that are different. They're not all like this one. And I think there's three dome stadiums. They're just like the Kibbe Dome from for Idaho. Montana State was 118. Temple was... Then how the heck did they move up? Oh my goodness. Smith laying out for it at the 11-yard line. Beautiful. Yeah, none of them have the actual stadiums. Yeah, but at least they have a few that are, you know... Not just like this one. Just a copy and paste, you know? And Lynch does not move the chains. We got third and one. This has been a really nice drive for the Grizzlies. Billings has a population of 119,000. Missoula has 78,000. Nice. It's crazy to think there's actually that many people in Montana. Nice run. Lynch down to the one yard line. Montana State with no answer here in the first quarter. Let's go line block for me. And that's a touchdown for the Grizz. Let's go. Really nice drive. Three minutes off the clock for Montana. And that was mostly all on the ground. Montana's more populated than Wyoming. Nice. Yeah, poor Western Kentucky. I remember that. <laughs> they moved them up and they never gave, <laughs> never gave them their stadium. Like, come on, EA. What are you doing? Look at that drive. 10 plays, 72 yards, mostly on the ground. I think we had, what, 10 yards passing, something like that. All 
right, see how the defense can fare. Their first drive out. How did I get blocked right there? What? Let's go, Mott. Gets blocked, still makes the tackle. Beautiful. That 3 3 5 defense coming out on the field. Come on, Buchanan. Let's go, buddy. Big hit on the quarterback. Incomplete pass. It's going to be nice to see Kennesaw State in a college football game. It's going to be real nice. And that pass is caught by McFarland. Picks up about seven yards for the Bobcats. And it's third down and three. Yeah, they, they really stopped putting forth a lot of effort in the college football games on the PS2 once they moved it to the PS3. Oh my goodness, where is he throwing that? Green is going to take this for a pick six. Touchdown, Montana. I'm not sure where he was going with that pass, but he threw it directly to the defensive back. Nice two touchdown cushion here in the first quarter. Love to see it. I get the new college football game coming out? Well, I'm pretty sure it's only for the PS5. Am, am I wrong? Am I wrong in saying that? I haven't really been following too closely. I just want to see gameplay. I don't care about all the other fancy stuff. Mott with another tackle. This guy's a special teams demon. I love it. Montana State nearly throws another pick. I don't know what this quarterback's doing. He's getting lost in the sauce already in the first quarter. Go defense. That's a decent run by Sanders. Nice stiff arm. Get a few extra yards out of it. Third and seven coming up. Go defense. Pressure on the quarterback, and that pass is going to be deflected and is holding. Oh, my word. Montana Stadium is in 06. Not sure about this one, though. I think it's the same stadium in this game, honestly. Good stop by the defense, and we lose Kevin Carroll, our star defensive end. He injured his head on the play. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. That would be a huge loss for this D-line. Okay, we're actually going to be able to return this, I think. So we're going to go ahead and pause that. Boom, boom, boom. Dang it. My workaround for the stupid return camera. Can't stand it. Let's go back to the ground, fellas. Ground and pound. All right, we had eight passing yards on that last drive. Still more than Montana State, who is uh, struggling, to say the least right now. Nice tackle. Dang, where did, where did he come from? Lynch with 61 yards already and a touchdown. Concussion for Carroll out for the rest of the game. And Walker will move the chains. 
Haven't really had a need to throw the ball too much. Other than just seeing if we can do it. It actually is Montana Stadium. Nice. I like it. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Lynch with a spin move. He still loses a yard, but that was a nice broken tackle. All right, we got a second down and 11 now. Yeah, I, I knew Montana did a big renovation, but it'd be real nice if I could edit the stadium in-game. I would love that. And Lynch stiff arms one defender and can't break a tackle on the second one. Pick up a four. We got a third and seven. Let's go play action. Okay, we're just going to roll this way. Oh, why is he so tired? What happened, Mr. White? <laughs> Holy smokes, man. It's like his feet got stuck in molasses. Fourth down and five? Yeah, why not? We'll go for it. We're inside their 40. I don't mind going for it here. And Smith's. Open over the middle, first down for the Grizz. And Lynch trying to cut to the outside. He's going to pick up five more. after this game I think we go into conference well this is conference play technically I think we go into bigger conference teams though oh nice tackle linebacker blitzing right through the gap untouched it is pretty nice our first ever conference game is against our rival though I, I like that and Lynch, another broken tackle, two broken tackles, and Lynch is going to score. Touchdown, Montana. It's too easy for him. 25-yard touchdown run. Five seconds left in the first quarter. We are kind of cruising right now. A little bit more talented of a roster for Montana. Of course, Montana was really good in, back in the day. They're still decent. Well, there was a time where they dominated quite often fumble oh my goodness they almost turn it over and this will be the final play of the first quarter get him boys Sanders picks up one or two up the middle. Montana on top, 21 nothing as we head into the second quarter in the Brawl of the Wild. Come on, Buchanan. Oh, I switched off him on accident. That's my bad. And that was nearly picked off on the sideline. Third down and nine. They're having a rough go of it on offense. Oh, man, I can't get past him at all. That was nearly picked again. Quarterback just doesn't have an arm. I like how they actually have their player names on their jerseys, though. Those, that's pretty nice. Oh, I got 
killed. Oh my goodness. Decent return up to the 45 yard line. I didn't feel like switching off the return camera there. I won't mind using it if I can see where I'm going on a punt return. If I actually know that there's nobody within five yards of me. Man, nice tackle. I'm just going to keep running right at them, see if they can stop us. For Lynch, picks up about six or seven. He's already at 101 yards for the game. Third down and three coming up. And White is going to get the first down. Oh, that was a little bit of a late hit there. The rest let it go, though. Ooh, Notre Dame versus Penn State. That should be a good game. We'll see who wins that one after this game. Go through and simulate every game of the week. Well, that was unfortunate. Lynch somehow gets a yard out of that. And he's super hype up, hyped up about it, you know. Just a game-breaking one-yard run. Read option. Let's get it. And no blocking off the right edge. Uh, yeah, so we're going to lose a yard on that. Third and ten coming up. Unfamiliar territory for Montana. Four for five on third down in the game. Uh oh, I don't like that. He's open and it's picked off. First incomplete pass of the season. That's going to be a pick six. Maybe not. Quarterback was crushed. We had a guy wide open on the corner route. Now Montana State with a bit of momentum. Man, if he doesn't get hit, that's probably a touchdown, honestly. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Where is he throwing that? Somebody take his blindfold off, please. What in the world? He's one of eight for seven yards on a pick. What is this guy's overall? I, I'm sorry. I got to see it. What's going on here, bud? 56 for the senior. All right, so they're going to get a freshman in recruiting, and he's going to be infinitely better than this dude. 72 and 68 for throw power, throw accuracy. Let's look at their roster real quick. Oh, man, these guys are bad. I feel bad for scheduling them. Well, I actually didn't schedule them, but... I mean, they got a few good players. Linebackers are terrible. They got one good corner. Free safety is decent. Yeah, strong safety could be better. They have no kickers either. Wow. Maybe I should have beefed up their roster a little bit before the dynasty. I didn't really think about it, honestly. I just wanted to get into the action. I didn't even touch the roster. The only thing I did on the rosters was I edited Adrian Peterson's name, and that, <laughs> that was it. I didn't touch anybody else. Third down and 10. And that's going to be a pickup of three. Fourth down coming up. Yeah. 
Field goes up, and Montana State is on the board for the second time this season. All right, we're gonna try the return camera. We're trying it. See, I just, I can't stand it. I can't see far enough in front of me to make moves. Ah, oh, stuck in my own lineman. Lynch still bit, picks up about five or six though. Not bad. Not bad at all. I want to take a deep shot down the field, though. Make up for that interception. Try to, at least. He's wide open. Nice tackle by the safety. We probably should try to learn how to throw the ball a little bit. I mean, we only threw it seven times in the first game. See what kind of route combinations work. See what kind of plays work well for us. Especially against a team like Montana State right now who's, who's struggling quite a bit. And we throw that out of bounds. So that's, that's real cool. That could have been a big game if you'd let him inside a little bit. Wide open is Wilson. First down, Montana. Quarterbacks combined for 7 of 16 in the game. Let's try a screen pass to the halfback. Terrible. Picked up a few yards out of it. Four yard pickup. Nice block. And take it off. Inside the five yard line. Making it look pretty easy. Bobcats, just 14 yards of offense. We are killing them with time of possession right now. Fenner is in. Touchdown, Montana. Too easy. Way too easy. Extra point is up and good. 28-3 now with Montana on top. Less than three to go in the first half. See if we can get a tackle with Mott again. Nope. Fumble recovered by the Bobcats. It's our second missed opportunity on a forced fumble. Parks is filling in. At the defensive end spot, wide open. Holy smokes, what are we doing on the left side of the field? That was man coverage. Best play of the game so far for Montana State on offense. I'm not sure where my corner was on that play. And we 
got Miles Dawkins out here doing direct snaps left and right. Two straight first downs. I mean, it's working for him. Why not, you know? And nice pass. Just too far out of bounds, though, for Trevor Anderson. Played high school football with a big, big fella named Trevor Anderson. He went on to play for U Albany. What an athlete he was, man. Whew. Hit people. It sounded like a freight train coming at you. Some of the biggest hits I've ever heard. That was nearly picked off again, man. Some of the biggest hits I've ever seen were from him. Some of them you can hear him, you know, from a mile away, I swear. Just a mountain of a man. He hit me in practice one day at like probably 50% 50, 50 power. And I didn't get up for a couple minutes. <laughs> he weighed like 300 plus pounds. I was about 140. Man, we're going to fair catch this. Where, why did he have to run for that? That was kind of scary. Uh, let's throw the ball a little bit. So we know we can run it on these guys. And we throw him out of bounds. Charlie with 17 carries in the game. Montana, four for six on third down tries. Uh oh. Can you get that block, please? I'm scared. I'm nervous. Okay. I, I tried to slide, and that did not happen. And there was holding. What a disaster of a play. What are we doing, boys? Jason Kidd out here holding the ball. Come on now. You gotta pass that. That's a, just a really unfortunate turn of events for us. He's wide open. First and goal, Bobcats. Just over a minute to go in the first half. Let's go D. I missed, and he didn't. Nice tackle by Parks. Saving a touchdown. Walking in. Easy, easy score. Alright, we gotta get it together. We're letting them claw their way back into this, and I don't like that. Extra point is nearly blocked. 28 to 10 now. Man, right 
side of the line getting blown up. Gotta be careful, their safety is in the zone. Oh, nice tackle. Went for a stiff arm there, didn't quite work out for us. Let's go power option left. We do have a corner over there. We're gonna switch this to the right. Oh, easy money, easy money. Pitch it out, nice block. And Walker with a stiff arm, goes out of bounds. Love the nice powerful runs we've been having so far early in the season. And yeah, we got 26 seconds left at the 38 yard line. We can get some more points on the board. I don't like this. Oh my goodness, he completes it to Smith to the four yard line. Beautiful. Definitely thought that was going to get picked off. First and goal, we got, how many time we got left? Two, I think. Wide open, touchdown, Montana. Safety played off of him. It was way too far to the right. Easy, easy score. Eleven seconds left in the first half. See if they keep it on the ground. And I whiffed. Uh oh. Nice run by Sanders. And they're gonna go no huddle. I'm not sure how many timeouts they've got left. Oh no. Oh my goodness. And that is a result of our safety being suspended for five games. We got our backup in there and he is slow as dirt. Montana State gets a nice touchdown as time expires to end the first half. Good grief. Your point is up and good. 35-17 is now the score. Definitely not liking how we're performing <laughs> without our safety out there. Turn by Curry. They're falling apart at the seams, boys. And overthrow to the right side. Brings up second and ten. throw out of bounds this time. Now third down. Well, 
Fusco intercepted by Davis. Doesn't get a block. Bobcats still 0% on third down tries. And that's his second pick of the game. Last one was a pick six. Oops, did not mean to hit that button. See what we can do on first down. And it's caught by Richardson inside the 45 yard line. Linebacker out of position on that play. Play action works pretty nicely when you can set it up with, with a decent run game. Fullback. Let's go fullback. And he gets it all the way to the 21-yard line. Fumbles it out of bounds. But nice quick release from Brandon White, the quarterback. Seeing the pressure, just getting rid of it. Oh my goodness. Offensive lineman getting bullied up there. Loss of two. We had Fenner wide open on the right. Couldn't hit him. Go halfback zone. Third and twelve. Why not? Okay. Did not stiff arm, and uh, <laughs> we lost a bunch of yards. Lost a six on the play. This will be a forty-six yard field goal try. He's got a forty-two yarder this season. It's his first try of this game. Kick is up, and it's good. 38-17 now. Back up by three touchdowns. Him, boys and that's picked off by Davis it's his third of the game his second pick six oh my goodness this I think that was his third it just said that it was a second I think actually 32 had the first pick of the game my bad One's turning it into a snoozer. Almost have our first 50 burger in just the second game. Goodness, I'm just getting blocked like crazy. Oh, 
Oh my, he's wide open. Nice tackle, saving a touchdown. That dude's a baller. Popcast still gonna keep fighting. Just barely tripped him up. They're shivering me timbers. What a name. <laughs> oh, that's great. What a beautiful name for a quarterback, and I just noticed it in the third quarter. Three, three, five, bear. Let's go, man. We're gonna blitz some guys. Pass nearly picked off, off the deflection. Bounced right off of, I think that was Strickland, the tight end. Bounced right off his back. Third down and 11 for the Bobcats. They're zero for six on uh, third down tries. Oh, I got pancaked. And they are now 0 for 7 in the game. I think they're in field goal range, though. They're actually going to go for it. 4th and 11. They are not in field goal range. I just remember the kicker is terrible. He's wide open. And a nice catch by Finnerty inside the 5-yard line. First and goal coming up for the Bobcats. They got more fourth down conversions than third down conversions. That's tough. Let's go with an all out blitz. Sixth place, 71 yard drive over a minute off the clock. And they'll have to try at least one more to get in the end zone. Tackle him into the end zone. Come on, man. Had him stopped. We had him. Montana State not done yet. Extra point is up. And it is good. Eight plays, 74-yard touchdown drive. Took a minute and a half off the clock. And it's 45-21 here in the third quarter. Gets the fumble recovery. Man, Lynch got popped on that run. You know, he had a great first quarter, and he has slowed down drastically in the last two quarters. down and six. The Grizz are five for nine on third down in this contest. Lynch is in the zone. And he's going to fight forward. I don't think he... Did. He got the first down. Let's go. I didn't think he had it. Let's go toss play. Oh, come 
Come on, fullback. You gotta get that block. Loss of five. Ugh. That's just gross. Alright, what are we doing here? Nice catch. Wilson off to the races inside the 30 hurdles and he is gone. Touchdown Montana. The 50 burger. That was a 70-yard touchdown pass. Let's go. Right there. Nice hurdle. Keeping the play alive. Place 74 yard touchdown drive. Took a minute and a half off the clock. Nice little answer to the Bobcats touchdown drive. Oh, I got pancaked. Oh, no. Coach is not going to be happy about that come time when they uh, look at the game film. Get him. Buchanan breaking two blocks and getting the sack second on the season for the big fella. Third down and ten coming up. Bobcats still 0 for on third downs. 0 for 7. And they might have this one, and it's dropped. There's a flag for pass interference, though. I'm not sure if that counts as an actual third down conversion, though. But hey, that's one way to get it. Direct snap, look out. Sanders picking up four or five. Another direct snap, come on man. And Buck Buchanan has injured his hip on the play. That's not good. Falling down to the turf in agony. Or maybe he just has a cramp. I guess we'll find out soon enough. And they did not count that last uh, penalty as a third down conversion. So Montana State still 0 for 7 on the day. And they're going to go direct snap. And they paid the price for it. Three straight direct snaps, are you kidding me? Who do you think you are? McFadden on for his fourth punt of the game. Walker to return it, gonna have to fair catch that. Alright, get back to the ground game. And luckily, Buchanan will return. Just hit Bursitis. And nice tackle.
thought for sure he'd be able to break that. Unfortunately, we also went out of bounds, so. Didn't really want to stop the clock. And Lynch will move the chains this time. Ten broken tackles in one game. Outstanding. We're going to let this clock run all the way down. Get us to the fourth quarter. We're up 52 to 24 in the, what is it, the Brawl of the Wild? I believe is the name of the rivalry. I'm trying to close this out. Start the season 2 and 0. Oh. And Lynch, another nice carry. Picking up 8. Notre Dame is killing Penn State right now. My goodness. their stadium pulse can get to five decibels six it's actually decent and Walker will get the first down again he's got 36 yards in this game let's try a sweep He did not get the block. Come on, 7-6. You gotta hit that man. Help a brother out, man. Come on now. Man, we're gonna try to run to the left side away from that defensive tackle that is in the zone. Didn't much matter with a linebacker coming through unblocked. Got a third down and seven. Just going to keep it on the ground. We'll be respectful. Walker does not move the chains for us. And we're going to run it again on fourth and three. Both teams perfect on fourth down. And nice play by the defensive tackle. Nice turnover on downs for the Bobcat defense. The defensive tackle has been a menace in this game. Make it some nice plays. And that is an overthrow by about 10 yards from Corey Timbers. Took over for Trevor Anderson. After throwing, I think it's third or fourth pick of the ball game. That's right, Tyler. Two and zero, buddy. Good start. And I got a deflection there with a defensive tackle. You don't see that every day. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Bobcats zero for eight now on third down. And they're going to get this one probably. Nope. Throws it out of bounds. Zero for nine in the game. Man, they will punt it away. I can't see. I hate it. All right, four and a half minutes to go.
Got to be careful of that defensive tackle again. Here we go. Good run. Oh, Lynch is off to the house. Touchdown, Montana. 66-yard run. His third touchdown of the game. I mean, that was just a simple halfback slam. And once he hit that second level, goodbye. Extra point is up, and it is good. 59-24. I think the only slider that we're going to adjust for the next stream is I'm going to turn human interception down to zero. Quarterback's going to take off. Oh, my goodness. Timbers. Getting cut down. Woof. I mean, that's just, that's disrespectful. <laughs> Two-yard pickup on the quarterback scramble. Guess we got to put a, put a spy on Michael Vick right now. Buchanan back in the game. And the pass is deflected away by the linebacker. Eight hurries, one sack, three picks for the Grizz defense. Not too shabby. Bobcats trying to avoid going zero for ten on third down. And Buchanan is going to get his second sack of the game, third of the season. And the Bobcats are zero for ten. I mean, he could have just threw that away, honestly. Let it bounce. What are you doing, Booker? Dang fullback? Like what what are you what's the plan there? Just for that we're gonna give the ball to you right up the middle, bud. And he gets three yards. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm trying to run the clock out now. We might switch the quarters to six minutes. I'm going to keep it to, at seven for the next stream. Because I feel like we had realistic stats in that first game. But Montana State is just not very good. So it's kind of hard to gauge it up against the Bobcats, honestly. And nice run by Lynch, breaking two tackles. heard of Beavis and Butthead? Absolutely, man. Classic show. Man, Lynch picking up 10 more yards. 229 yards on the ground on 32 carries in our Mac opener. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead, man. Classic. Used to watch that show all the time with my brothers.
The crowd's going crazy. I hit the button. I, I definitely hit the button, boys. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. What in the heck are they doing? Minute and a half to go in the contest, which hasn't been much of a contest. But Montana State, you know, hats off to them. Uh, they made some plays. They definitely made some nice highlight plays in this game. Really, you're going to fumble the football right now. Come on, man. Two fumbles now for Lynch. That's just not cool, man. See, there's another one of those plays. Force fumble. Lynch, play of the game. Over 230 yards rushing, three touchdowns. As Curry goes nowhere on first down. Get him. Finnerty picks up three yards. Another third down try for the Bobcats. They're zero for ten. Can they convert one? They're going to run it, and they are not going to get the first down. Zero for eleven. That is just pitiful. They got a lot of work to do. one more time with Walker and a nice run up to the 49 yard line that gets him over 50 yards for the ball game okay buddy let's let's not get a taunting penalty that is going to be the final, 59-24, Montana, 2-0 to start the season. But we do have some tough games coming up. These are probably the easiest games on our schedule. Both teams ranked 117th heading into the matchups. Nine-point win over Temple and a big-time win over our rivals. But... I mean, it's really hard to, to gauge how we're going to do this season based off these first two games. Haven't really faced a team with a, a good offense just yet. Temple had some players, though. They, they had some playmakers, man. They just made one too many mistakes that cost them in that game. Man, this was just total domination. 544 yards of offense in the Brawl of the Wild for the Grizzlies. 327 on the ground, 217 through the air. We were not sacked, which is pretty impressive for me. But we had three turnovers. Fumbled the ball four times today. No punts. Time of possession, we had about 19 minutes. Put up 21 in the first quarter and just, just never looked back, honestly. Oh, Green was the guy that had the first pick six. Okay. And then Davis had another one. Brandon White, 11 of 15. So he's 18 of 22 on the season. With five touchdowns and a pick. And how many yards? 
about 350 yards passing, I think. Long of 70 in this game. And Jeff Lynch, man, he, he was on a tear in this game. He went crazy. 13 broken tackles. He did fumble twice, so I'm not happy about that. Receiving, Lamont Smith, Jeremy Fenner, and Derek Wilson all had touchdowns. Wilson had the 70-yarder. Just broke free, and they could not catch him. Some pancakes. Love that. Jonathan Popenga with five tackles. Led the team. Buck Buchanan, two tackles for a loss, two sacks. Bobby Davis with two picks. Dennis Green had one. Each had a touchdown. Nine tackles, or nine pass deflections, rather, for the defense. Four fumble for Popenga. Two D touchdowns. Yes, sir. Henry, one for one, long 47. No punts. And that is it. Let's take a look at the rest of the week. We did lose Carroll. Can't remember how long he was out for. I think it was just this game. I'm not sure if this win will put us in the top 100 just yet. As we just haven't really faced anybody. Oh, man. Florida A&M. Say it ain't so. They lost by 60. Simulate the rest of the week. We'll check out the game, see if there was any upsets. We'll take a look at the ESPN, the magazine. As Was that Notre Dame beating Ohio State? I didn't quite see that. No, it wasn't Notre Dame, right? Who was that? I'm trying to look at my OBS real quick. Oh, it's Texas. They beat them. Wow. Alabama 2-0. The dynasty, it's starting. All right, we're taking on Northern Illinois and Auburn in our next stream, guys. So these are some real tests. Okay, don't I don't care what their offense looks like right there because they have a B offense and a B defense, and we, well, we do not. So I don't think we're going to be able to run the ball against these guys as well as we have been in the first couple games. So it's going to be... A bit of a reality check for us. And we're definitely not running the ball in Auburn like we have been. That is for certain. Alright, let's go back to week two. Take a look at these games. Boise State beats Oregon State. See if there's any upsets. Kansas State almost lost to Florida Atlantic. Oh my goodness. Say it ain't so. Georgia Tech, are you guys okay? Sanford, really? Minnesota beats Cal. Army beats Kent State. Okay. The Mac falling. Hate to see it. UTEP was hanging with Texas Tech for a bit there. Georgia beats South Carolina. And Notre Dame did beat Penn State. So they're 2-0. They're second in the country now. Houston, Michigan. Come on, guys. At least score a field goal. Tennessee is 2-0 on the year. And New Hampshire upsets Northwestern 32-27. Let's go. 22 points in the fourth quarter to get the upset win. Get absolutely wrecked, Northwestern. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Man, that's crazy. Ohio did just beat... Northern Illinois. Pretty sure Ohio went like... Didn't they have like one win or two wins the season before this in real life? NC State beats Akron. 58-31. 31's impressive from Akron, honestly. Auburn beats our Bulldogs. Oregon beats Fresno State. 20-9. Florida beats UCF by 20. Any more upsets anywhere? I and mean, that's a little bit of an upset. South Florida losing to FIU. Texas, number one now after beating Ohio State. Louisville is killing everybody. They shut out Kentucky, and now they beat Temple 55-7. to Ugh. Purdue almost lost to Miami, Ohio. Oklahoma beats up Washington. 
Missouri beats Ole Miss. Colorado beats Colorado State. And I don't know if we're going to see any more upsets. Ball State beat Indiana. Let's go back, baby. 38-35 was the final in that one. Quarterback threw four touchdowns, nearly 300 yards. Indiana, their quarterback threw 323 yards, five touchdowns, just not enough to win it. Let's go, Maction, baby. Maction. And New Mexico beats New Mexico State in the Battle of I-25 in Las Cruces, New Mexico. All right, but that's it. So Northern Illinois, Auburn, our next two games. There's a look at the magazine. In the Battle of the 1v2, Ohio State loses to Texas. Oh, yeah, we'll look at the top 25 real quick. My apologies. So Notre Dame jumps up to 2. USC to 3. LSU 4. Florida 5. Oklahoma 6. And then Ohio State falls all the way to 7. Miami hanging tough at 10. Really gritty win against Florida A&M, you know. Arizona State up at 17. Okay. Virginia Tech at 20. Any new faces in here? Minnesota jumps up into the rankings at 25. And Cal is the team that dropped out. Check out the Heisman watch. And it's still Brady Quinn, a.k.a. Donnie Bird. Coming through for 329 and four touchdowns against Penn State. Wide receiver for Michigan has five touchdown catches on... 23 receptions, 300 yards. He's up there now. Wide receiver for Notre Dame is now on uh, at number four. Adrian Peterson dropping down. Two straight games of 109 yards. AP, what did he do? Oh, it was only one game? Oh, he got hurt. Oh, no. Say it ain't so, AP. Players of the week for week number two. Four touchdowns for Dwayne Smith on the ground. My goodness. And 83 rushing yards, 193 rushing, er, 83 receiving yards, 193 rushing. And two picks, two forced fumbles for Rob Warren, outside linebacker from Memphis. Man. Quarterback for Miami, throws six touchdowns. Yeah, right. He was, he was a bust in real life. Mr. Kyle Wright. Anthony Barber for Purdue throws 329 yards, four scores. Man, Louisville just killing everybody. It's crazy. Three touchdowns for their running back. And a pick six for their corner, Eddie Tucker. Running back for Southern Miss going crazy. 240 yards, three touchdowns. Navy halfback goes for 164 and three scores. And we get two players of the week for Montana. Jeff Lynch, 235 yards, three touchdowns. Bobby Davis, three tackles, two picks, and a touchdown in that big win over our arch nemesis, Montana State Bobcats. Running back for New Mexico, 229 yards, three scores. Linebacker had a good game, two picks and a forced fumble. Another running back doing really well in the receiving game, man. Over 200 yards of offense, four touchdowns for Gerald Coleman. Two picks and a touchdown for Marco Wilson. Outside linebacker for Georgia. Georgia. Sun Belt. Nathan Coaster. 176 yards and a touchdown in their win over Southern Miss for uh, North Texas. And Keith Lee, outside linebacker, 12 tackles, 9 for a loss, 4 sacks. Oh, my word. Total domination. And the WAC has nothing to offer for us right there. Okay. Conference standings. Let's take a gander. We're 1-0 in conference. Let's go, boys. Got the most points in two games. Ohio, 2-0. Well, we have we have a couple tough games coming up ahead of us. 
Northern Illinois and Auburn. Those are the next games. Let's do our in-season recruiting right now so I do not forget. We got a little bit of a lead here on the wide receiver, Keith Lindsey. I love that. A little bit of a lead again still for Dennis Campbell, the guard. Left tackle. Uh, Jonathan Cobbs, I really want this guy. Dude is an absolute stud muffin at six foot nine, two hundred seventy-five pounds. Tom Schaefer, you animal. OG Joystick Shinobi, coming in with a thumbs up just because I'm playing NCAA. No cap, you're the goat, man. Appreciate you. Play this joint so much. Sheesh. <laughs> yes, sir. This is a good one. I didn't play this one as much as I played 04 and 06, but the return camera hurt this game for me a little bit, but it's still a good one, man. And we are now in first place for Sam Daniels, the tackle. So, man, if we could get these three offensive linemen, we're going to be set for quite a while. All right, that's it, though. We don't have to do anything for recruiting. So our next two games... Oh, uh, let's see. Am I going to play these tomorrow? We got three series currently going on the channel. We got Arena Football. That's back. So we're going to be playing some more of that this week. We got ESPN NFL 2K5 is back with our Buffalo Bills franchise. And I'm going to be bringing back a mystery series or bringing a new mystery series to the channel. Uh, completely different game. Obviously, it's going to be a sports game, so... We will see that one soon. I don't know if we're going to get to that one this week. But we'll see. But that is going to do it for this stream, guys. I really appreciate everybody stopping by. Joystick Shinobi. Hopefully you uh, subscribe and stick around, man. Really uh, really nice seeing you in the chat. I think this is the turning point where NCAA left Madden behind. Really? I think, man, for me, for me, the college games have always been better, honestly. That, that's been, that's my opinion. But... Yeah, I just, I don't know, I just like college more, honestly, but it's so much more fun. The atmosphere, tradition, it's just all better. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I will see you tomorrow with, what am I going to play tomorrow? You know what, we're going to play Northern Illinois and Auburn tomorrow, and then Wednesday we will play... Our Buffalo Bills franchise and NFL, uh, ESPN NFL 2K5. And then Thursday we'll go back to Arena Football with our Making Knights franchise. The vibes are top tier. I appreciate that, man. Definitely glad you caught it at the end as well, man. Gonna rewatch and watch some gameplay. Hey, that first game was pretty good, man. Second game, I mean, it was Montana State, so. <laughs> But we had some nice plays in there. There's a lot of crazy highlights in the first game against Temple. Uh, definitely recommend uh, watching that full game for sure. But that is it for me for tonight, fellas. I'm going to go eat, and then I'm going to crash, and then uh, wake up five minutes later and go to work because that's just how life feels sometimes. But again, appreciate you guys. Uh, catch you on the next one. Take it easy, guys.